Hello everyone, welcome to the corner. Gonna do a kind of a quick little update here. Not much to really update, but I'm gonna work on a, show you a little bit on the Nova here. I got the uh, chassis kind of roughed in. I got a lot of spots to fill on the side here. Cut the interior a little too far on it, but we'll fill it in and make it look all right. So that's how it fits. That's pretty good. However, one thing I did find out on it, this gap on a firewall. You can see here, this is where the firewall would sit against the actual interior of the car, and this is where the firewall is matched to the body. This gap won't allow, well, the firewall itself won't allow the engine to sit in, sit in where it needs to be. To fit this chassis, the engine needs to sit right about there, and you can see up above where the firewall comes in. Firewall's right there. You can kind of see where the firewall's holding the engine up. Won't allow it to come into place. So, what do we get to do? You get to cut the firewall out of it. You get to move the firewall back and recess it a little bit. Now the best thing to do on that running out of bench space here <clears throat> need to clean my bench up <laughs> but um what i started to do is i cut notched out down here down below both sides now i'm gonna have to cut down cut downward along both sides of that firewall and then cut across the top what i'm gonna do is i cut the across the top and the bottom side of the body I'll come in here and score across the back side and cut it from there. First we need to do is get these two nubs out of here. What this do, these do is they just align the interior tub with this tab into the body. I could probably shorten them up and still use them to align the body, but we're going to have to cut this tab off. Shorten this tab up too, to because the firewall is going to have to come back, so that's got to be shortened as well. And all I'm doing on this, I'm doing it off camera, but all I'm doing on this is just pulling my knife, coming across, and just keep working across, cutting into that area until you get it to come through. Once you get it to come through, you can kind of finesse and work the corners of it a little bit better. Like right there, the firewall is free. I hope I can see that. Firewall is free on the dryer side, so now I'm going to come over to this side. Do more of the same. Just take your time, work it slow. I'm going to do this off camera. It's a little easier with the camera not in front of me. Then you can get it to where the firewall is loose on both sides. This side's not wanting to flex as much as too much, a lot of rigidity in that firewall. But now we're going to move to the bottom of it. Like I said, I'm just going to cut just enough to where... <coughs> Alright, I'll try it this way, see if this works better. Just rearrange the camera angle a little bit. All I'm doing is coming in and snipping underneath, kind of un undercutting them. Just enough to cut it back. And then right here is a cut that we need to cut on. But now you can't, you don't want to cut straight up and down like this because you'll come through the top of a cowl you'll cut through right about there. And you don't want to do that. So what you're going to want to do is lay the body almost flat with the car. 
you're going to want to cut across this way. That way, when you cut through, you actually cut through on the firewall. You don't cut through on the body. A little hard to get your hands in here, but it's you know the best way to do it. That way, you don't cut the top half the body out of it. That the body really ain't long enough to get the knife in here either. <laughs> Always something. Like I say, you just keep scoring back and forth. Eventually, you'll cut through like digging for gold. Keep on digging. <laughs> and, whoops. Starting to cut through in the middle of it already. Actually, I take that back. You're going to be cutting through. You cut through on that section of the body, not the... That wouldn't be a bad idea. Just to cut straight through on top because this is all going to have to get cut and moved back anyway. Hmm. Well, let's try it that way. What the heck? What else we'll do to mess it up, right? Oops. Like that. Luckily, cutting underneath here, it's the underside of the body. You're not going to see it. So we can make all the mistakes we want on back. Not really, but, you know, you get the idea. <laughs> All right. Trying to support the body on the workbench as much as I can. Just to keep them twisting and snapping and breaking. When you get it to where you can get the knife blade down inside it, carefully push the knife. You can kind of saw in and out with the knife blade to get it to come out to where you need to. Never cut with your finger on the outside of the body. Keep your fingers away from where you're going to be cutting at. I found that out the hard way years ago. <laughs> I don't know if I told the story or not, but I was cutting a 66 Fairlane uh, fire uh, radiator out of a, it was out of a core support. It was all one piece and I wanted a separate radiator. And when I was cutting crossways, holding it, the knife went through my finger. The knife punched through right about there. It went straight through the top of my finger and out the fingernail. You can still... You can still see the scar right here where it cut at. But it was that was a fun deal. A couple of years after I did, I told my son that oh yeah, I can, you know, I can there's no feeling there. And he's like, oh bull dad. And so I took the exacto knife and I took it and I stuck it right straight inside my finger and held my finger up with the knife hanging off the tip of my finger. He just kinda like, whoa. <laughs> So yeah, always be careful where you're cutting. Always cut away from yourself as much as possible. Kind of taught you that, taught us all that in Boy Scouts. And there's the firewall. So now with this, we'll be able to move it back. And we'll just rebuild the sides in on it with some sheet plastic to get it to fit where we need it. And that will actually line up pretty good on the underside. We'll need to cut that tab back a little bit, like I say, you can see it, still see it, you know, sticking on a little bit. At least that way we can get an engine in there. Oop. So yeah, not too bad. Work on boxing this firewall in here quick and call it a good one. Just to touch bases again. Um, what I ended up doing is I just cut that tab all the way off. I think the firewall is going to come into play where that's going to be at once it's all back together. The firewall is going to have to come almost back to the interior tub. And with that tab out of the way, it allows it to, you know, the torque don't interfere with the firewall once the firewall goes in it. 
this when it goes back on being that i've got the interior glued to the chassis pan when it goes together it's going to line that interior toe where the interior toe needs to be and it's going to line the frame where it needs to be so i don't have to worry about that tab lining things up it all kind of does that on its own now so so what we're going to do like i say we need to recess that firewall box it in and it's going to come back into about there we don't have to fill the gaps on the sides that would be a quick easy fix with a couple of sheets of, or strips of uh, styrene but right now we just need to get the firewall glued into place to where it's going to finally end up at and all i'm going to do is run a bead um <coughs> Run a, <coughs> sorry i can't talk today <laughs> either use run a bead of glue across the top of the, underneath the cowl or use my uh i use 10x7 a lot too if i can get it out here or you know plastic uh um plastic struck plastic weld whatever you want to call that stuff that's what i use here Um, you can brush a little bit of that across the top of here and get it to where you can set it into place. Let that kind of set up a little bit or melt the plastic a little bit, if you will. <clears throat> May have to. Yeah, could always go to the interior tub even, but I don't want to go that far with it. <laughs> we'll kind of work with that for a minute. I'm going to let this set up for a minute. Actually just set it into place. <clears throat> and what that'll do is it'll allow it to set, get set in place long enough to where I can pull the interior tub out once it cures a little bit. And then that way it doesn't pop the firewall loose might actually be ready now that's with the firewall in like I said these caps are just easy fill with you know strips of styrene I may even cut this lip off the top of there just to recess that back to the cowl I don't know yet this little overhang right here the hood jam, whatever you want to call it. I don't know. I might leave it on there. If it doesn't interfere with the air cleaner and such. I might be putting a dual quad intake on this tunnel ram type off the out of the 66 Nova. That's what the engine came out of. Thought about going with a supercharger on it, but I think we're just gonna stick with the tunnel ram and go that route. And what I'm thinking is I can go probably get by with this this is going to be a little bit wider than what i need but i'm thinking this is going to be more than enough i guess i'll get it in there and mark it and then trim it down and then put the piece in but that'll finish out the engine compartment the inner wheel walls and such but all i'm going to do is take a marker high-tech stuff here but you know <laughs> This is where you need about three hands. Whoops. Hey, don't mark up the trailer either when you do this. I'm just gonna lay that in there. Trying to reach around the camera here. And it's not writing. There we go. Just gonna kind of mark it out a little bit. Yeah, it's not marking. Okay, I just kind of went in with my pencil. You can kind of see the faint line on there where I marked it. All I'm going to do is just kind of cut that. Keep yourself a little bit of extra plastic just so they can kind of whittle it down. Get it to fit in there. I'm going to shorten this up too a little bit. Use this trusty sanding pad. I 
and see where we're at. Once that's glued in, that'll finish it up pretty good. So now, yeah, let's see here. I'm just gonna use regular testers glue, I already got a mile of glue. Get it up into place, let that set up. I'll work on the other side. Voila. I'll come back in later on to hit it with some super glue on the back side of it just to solidify it and make it more permanent, whatever you want to call it. <clears throat> That's about all you got to do. Side to side, fill it in. Recess firewall. More room for a engine to fit up in the engine bay. If you ever have any other builds that you come across where the firewall is just in your way, that's the basic concept, basic idea of how you just cut the firewall and move it back. So yeah, I'll finish this up and I'll come back and show you the, you know, the final of it. Be right back. Before I do. This Nova has this little shelf on the bottom. Being that I cut this off a little extra to get that little bit of a shelf on the bottom, it's actually kind of easy. Take your knife, kind of go in the same height as that, that shelf would be. Score the back side of it just a little bit. You don't need a lot. Score it just enough to get it to get the plastic to kind of bend over. You don't want to cut all the way through. Score it just enough to where it wants to bend over on itself and then bend it over. Once that's glued in place, snip off the excess and then you'll have that shelf at the bottom of the, the bottom of your inner wheel well. Just like that. Works out pretty good, comes out pretty nice. A little putty on the seams and once primed and painted, it should look like it's all one piece. It came that way. All right. <clears throat> once you get it down to this point, you just take a, like a straight uh, file. Just got to come in there and true up both edges of that. And that's it. Both sides are in and a little crude, but it's effective. That's just boxing in the new firewall. Not too bad. Another last test bit just to make sure it fits well. Now you remember before the gap that we had between the firewall set we are here. Now this is the gap that whoops, this is the gap that we have now. You can barely get the knife blade to fit between there. But that will allow us to get to now get the engine to fit in the engine bay. And looking at it, I don't think this <clears throat> overhang is going to affect the the back carburetor and air cleaner once it's in place. So I may just leave that alone. But being that this isn't a factory stock vehicle, <clears throat> it's going to be more of a pro street vehicle. Boxing and recessing that frame really isn't out of the ordinary. So then again, on a real car, you probably won't have to worry about it because you probably have enough clearance to do it. But 
being that this body is kind of off the promo body, the engine compartment was tightened up because they didn't put an engine in it. They had a, a chassis pan. You know, this thing in the bottom of it. Then you just glued the hood shut so it didn't matter. Being that we're putting the actual engine in it. Got to make it fit and look halfway decent, I guess. So, Yeah, that's it. Hope that helps somebody out. If it does, cool. That's what this is all for. If not, well, better luck next time, Rummy, right? <laughs> Hope everyone's having a good day. Mine just getting started. 6.30 in the morning right now. Um, just want to give a shout out to all my subscribers and anybody out there watching. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being a part of all this. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. If you haven't done so already, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Talk to y'all soon. We'll see you on the corner.